Greetings everyone. In this video, we'll be looking at uh, NCA Level 1 Mathematics Common Assessment Task Algebra. So some of the skills demonstrated in this video will be looking at uh, exam type question at an excellence level where I will be solving exponential inequations and uh, we'll be reviewing loads of indices and uh, using uh, basic parabolas to identify the uh, uh, solutions. So I've already gone through the basic guidelines for solving exponential equations in my previous videos. If you haven't already, please do uh, check those videos out. In this video, I'll be focusing on solving exponential inequations. So we'll quickly have a look at the example. Solve uh, 3 to the power of k squared times 81 to the power of k divided by 3 to the power of k is less than uh, 81. So you can clearly see that we have uh, got uh, different bases. So step number one is uh, rewrite the bases as powers of a common base. So in this case, we'll use uh, factor three to uh, rewrite uh, as uh, powers of a common base and common base will be three in this case. So uh, using uh, factor three, we will split um, 81. So 81 can be written as uh, nine times nine, which is 81. And then nine can be written as three times three and also the other nine is three times three and you can clearly see that we have got uh, 81 which can be rewritten as uh, three to the power of four because it's three times three times three times three which will give you 81 so three to the power of k squared times three to the power of four now 81 is same as three to the power of four as you can see here is raised to the power of k divided by three to the power of k is less than uh, 3 to the power of 4 because 81 is 3 to the power of 4. Now once I've got that then I will uh, remove the bracket. So this one is powers of power. So using the um, uh, power of exponents uh, uh, rule here. So a to the power of m raised to the power of n is a to the power of m times n. So in this case 4 times k will give you 4k as the power. So 3 to the power of k squared times 3 to the power of 4k divided by 3 to the power of k is less than 3 to the power of 4. Now you can see that we have managed to rewrite the original question with the same base. So that was our first guideline there to rewrite the bases as uh, powers of a common base. So common base is 3 as you can see. Now we've got the same bases. We can use uh, laws of indices to simplify these. So we can see that we have got same base. We will add the powers as seen uh, in this rule here, the first rule that's there. So uh, 3k squared times 3 to the power of 4k. The base is same. I'm multiplying. So I will add the powers. So that simplifies to 3 to the power of k squared plus 4k divided by 3 to the power of k is less than uh, 3 to the power of 4 and uh, then I have got the same base this time but we are dividing we know that uh, if we have got same base we will subtract the powers when dividing and that can be seen here a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m minus n so in this case we can uh, rewrite that as 3 to the power of k squared plus 4k which is the one on the uh, numerator and then uh, minus the power that's in the denominator so minus k is less than 3 to the power of 4 once i've got that i will simplify that so this will now read 4k minus k which is 3k so 3 to the power of k squared plus 3k is less than 3 to the power of 4 then we can drop the basis and uh, we can then see that uh, k squared plus 3k is less than 4 so we can clearly see that this is a quadratic equation and solving quadratic equation the best method is to uh, set it equal to zero so we'll move four over so this will read k squared plus 3k minus four is less than zero and then we must factorize before we can solve this so uh, k squared plus 3k minus four is uh, written as k minus one into k plus four in factored form which is less than zero and then we'll use null factor law to uh, solve for the k values here. So either k minus 1 is 0 or k plus 4 is equal to 0. And from there we can solve for the k values. Now once I've done that, then I will sketch the parabola. 
and in this case i've got a positive um, quadratic function so we will end up with a u-shaped curve but uh, we are given uh, the k value remember this is the x-axis so k implies x in this case so we can use that so k is uh, one so we'll have one and it's negative four so it will pass through negative four and one so we'll quickly draw a rough sketch so we've got a quadratic function that's passing through minus four and one the original question here is less than zero so we need to see when it is less than zero so less than zero means negative and negative implies below the x-axis so the values are below the x-axis you can clearly see in between minus four and one so i can see that the solution for this problem is k should lie between uh, negative four and one or we can give that in the inequality form so k is greater than negative four or less than one and once you've written that uh, you'll qualify for excellence and that's your final answer i hope this makes sense i would suggest if you can pause the video and try this yourself what you will need to know is the basic guidelines to solving exponential uh, equations or inequations so you will need to rewrite um, bases as uh, powers of a common base to write them as a common base you will need to um, use a factor tree to quickly uh, get to the same base once you've done that you will need to remember the laws of indices and uh, use that to uh, simplify the exponents and once you've got that then uh, you proceed to uh, solving the unknown uh, variable and if you end up with a quadratic function then you will need to uh, set it equal to zero factorize it use null factor law to find the corresponding um, intercept values try and draw a rough sketch you don't have to draw the exact parabola but as long as you identify the section where it's below zero then uh, write a statement that uh, it is between negative four and one you'll qualify for the uh, excellence grade in some cases please do note that if the question was greater than zero greater than zero means above the x-axis so in that case the answer will be x is less than negative four because this section here is above or x is greater than one because this section here the function is above so anything above one the function was uh, giving you positive result which is uh, greater than zero hope this makes sense i would suggest you can pause the video and try this yourself and see if your answer matches with this thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video